Hey guys, welcome back to Token Tech. Today I want to talk about everyone's favorite topic, Linux gaming. Now for some of you who've been around here for a bit, you've seen that I, I use Linux and I do play a lot of games in Linux. I've been doing Linux gaming live streams and that's for a reason. I want to show people that yes, you can game in Linux, you can live stream in Linux, and you can play your games and they run just fine. It doesn't even take that much work. To be honest, it's very easy to play games in Linux, easier than it's ever been before with Proton from Steam and Lutris with Wine and DXVK and everything just works uh, for the most part, for the most part. I'm not here to say that it's magic, but a lot of things do work very seamlessly or just very simple, quick, easy solutions that a Google search will find for you right away. However, there is one area, one last obstacle that Linux gaming hasn't been able to overcome yet, and that's the area of copy protection or DRM and anti-cheat software. Usually the games that use those types of software run in Linux just fine. It's those pieces of software that don't run in Linux. So if you have a game that has easy anti-cheat, it's not gonna work. The game probably works just fine in Linux, but the easy anti-cheat or the DRM or whatever it is won't allow the game to run in Linux. This is a big problem and the last big problem for Linux gaming. They are starting to make a little bit of headroom, a tiny, tiny bit of headroom in that regard, but I think it'll still be quite a few years, if not longer, before we get real solutions to that problem. However, people still play their games. Now, up until now, there have been really two solutions for this problem. The first one, obvious, a lot of people do this, dual booting. You have your main install, which is Linux, and you do everything in Linux, you play most of your games in Linux, but then you have a secondary install of Windows that you load into only for playing those select few games. The other option is to have VFIO, or I think Wendell from Level 1 Text calls it uh, Through the Looking Glass, his version of it. However, that's a complicated solution, not easy whatsoever, and requires you to have two graphics cards, which especially right now with how hard it is just to get one graphics card, I doubt many people have two. So there's no real great solution because dual booting, although not a hard solution, is an inconvenient one, an annoying one, and for most people who use Linux, they don't want to use Windows. I know because I don't want to use Windows. I still have to use it from time to time for work and for certain pieces of software, but for the most part, I do spend almost all my time in Linux these days. However, there is one last solution for right now that still exists for us, a workaround. I won't really call it a solution, and that is game streaming. Okay, I did a poll the other day asking if you guys enjoyed game streaming. Most people didn't, some people did, and I think it has its place, but I don't think it's the savior of Linux gaming, as I've seen said before. So I've heard of game streaming like stadia x cloud geforce now uh, i guess playstation now even fits in that category and sometimes even being called the savior of linux gaming because well now you don't have to dual boot now you don't have to do vfio and pass through your graphics card to a virtual machine now you can just load up a browser and play your games in a browser however you still have those inherent flaws that come with game streaming. So you're just kind of trading one issue for another. So yes, the games will run in Google Stadia, in GeForce Now, and I'm assuming in xCloud, I've never used it before, but it's not a great experience. So I wanted to test this out for myself because right after I made that, like another commitment to really be on Linux, of course, that's when one of my friends wants to get back into Apex Legends. And Apex, as you know, uses easy anti-cheat. And the saddest part of all, the part that stings the most, is that that game runs perfectly fine. I can download it in Linux. I can open it in Linux. I can go to the shooting range in Linux. But as soon as I try to join a match, it says, Easy Anti-Cheat isn't running and kicks me out. Not much I can do there. So, okay, let me go ahead and jump on to GeForce Now. They have a free version and a paid version. And to be honest, I did pay for the service because I wanted to give it the best shot. And it wasn't expensive. It was $25 for six months meaning that I pay one time $25 and I have six months of usage, you know, preferred usage. I don't have any wait times. I have RTX and all that stuff, whatever, who cares? I just want to play some Apex with my friends. I load it up. Of course, it works just fine. It's running through the browser. I didn't even have to spoof my browser. It just worked straight up in Brave, 
which is great. I didn't have to do any extra work. Just went to the website, logged in, and jumped into my games. All right, so I'm playing Apex. The game works. It runs. And I'm playing Apex in Linux, I guess, technically. Well, I guess technically I'm playing it in a Windows server that NVIDIA is renting, that I'm renting. For, anyways, uh, it, it, it ran. It ran, and it was awful. Yeah, I would love to have said it was great, and this is the solution, and you don't have to worry about Windows because you can just get a game streaming platform, and there you go. It, it's not great. The The resolution was pretty poor. The The compression rate was pretty very aggressive so it was very pixelated or maybe you could call them graphical artifacts the frame rate was locked at 60 for some of you 60 is fine for me i like to game at above 100 usually around 150 to 165 hertz or over 200 in some games and i have a 165 hertz panel so i can actually take advantage of that so gaming at 60 felt bad but the biggest problem of all i'm sure you guys know is the lag the latency between my inputs and what actually happens on screen was so large it resulted in the games being basically unplayable i was also playing games like vermintide did not feel good it felt like i was playing games drunk if you've ever tried that before you get really drunk and try to play a game and it feels like everything is just kind of lagging behind but it's really just because you're drunk that's what it felt like but i was completely sober it was giving me a headache it made me feel nauseous everything was bad i hated that experience and again in apex i couldn't even get kills i couldn't do anything so I had to test out in Windows. I had to do an A, B test. See, is it better in Windows or am I just terrible? Am I just a really bad gamer? Loaded up in Windows. Obviously, it's going to look nicer because it's not compressed through the internet. And no latency. At least manageable latency. I could get kills. I could do better. I could support my team. I could have fun. And it didn't feel like I was disconnected from the game. So unfortunately, although game streaming is... A workaround I don't think it's the end-all be-all I don't think it's that solution that Linux really needs what we really need is for better support for Linux better support from those anti-cheat software developers and the DRM software developers so that we can actually play the games we want to play in Linux and everyone's gonna have their own opinion some of you are gonna say I'm never playing games that don't support Linux and that's totally okay some of you are gonna say I'm just gonna stick dual booting I think that's a perfectly fine solution if you have the hardware and the know-how to do VFIO go for it that sounds awesome and to be honest game streaming for some games isn't so bad I can see it being great for a turn-based game or maybe a single-player game that is a slower paced game but for anything multiplayer and especially quick twitch type games like apex definitely not the case so i want you guys to let me know down the down in the description below how do you play your games do you only play games that run in linux do you dual boot do you have vfio do you use game streaming at all if you do what games do you play and what service do you use okay because i think so far my favorite service was actually playstation now but you're kind of limited to playstation games and 720p and 60 fps but enough about that let me know what you think down below and i'll see you all in the next one